Hi, this is Dr. K from My Medical School. Today we're going to talk about how to diagnose diabetes. Make sure to check out our free educational videos on our YouTube channel, I Medical School, and our podcast on iTunes. If you like this content, please give us a like. Glucose is the main fuel for energy for all the living cells in our body. We all control the level of glucose in our body by the balance of two main hormones called insulin and glucagon. In general, insulin causes glucose to be pulled into our cells and stored away for later use, while glucagon recruits glucose from various sources when we need more fuel for our cells. The balance between these hormones is very important. Diabetes is when our ability to regulate glucose levels becomes disturbed, resulting in high glucose levels in the blood. Typically, the disruption is either due to the body not responding to insulin, as well as it should be, called insulin resistance, or the body's not producing enough insulin. The high levels of glucose that result can lead to serious complications like heart attack, kidney failure, loss of vision, and debilitating pain in the arms and legs called neuropathy. In the hopes of preventing complications of diabetes, it's important to diagnose diabetes as soon as possible. The diagnosis of diabetes consists of two components, symptoms and testing. The symptoms of diabetes are urinating frequently, severe thirst, weight loss, and blurriness of vision. These symptoms are due to high levels of glucose in the blood, and when present with a random blood glucose test of 200, we have a diagnosis of diabetes. There are alternate forms of testing for diabetes when the symptoms may be subtle. The three tests that are used are the oral glucose tolerance test, fasting glucose, and hemoglobin A1c. A simple test to complete is the fasting glucose test. All this test means is that you have to fast for eight hours prior to the test with nothing to eat or drink. You have your blood drawn to measure the level of glucose in your body. If the glucose lever is greater than or equal to 126, this is consistent with diabetes. The oral glucose tolerance test is when you fast for eight hours, then a fasting blood glucose is drawn. You are then asked to drink a sugary mixture of 75 grams of glucose. After two hours, you have your blood drawn to check your glucose levels. If your blood glucose is greater than 200 on the second draw, this is consistent with a diagnosis of diabetes. The last test is called hemoglobin A1c. Hemoglobin is a complex protein in red blood cells that binds oxygen to transport it to our cells. The hemoglobin A1c test specifically looks for a type of hemoglobin called A1c, otherwise known as glycated hemoglobin. Simply put, this is a form of hemoglobin that has become attached to a glucose molecule. For those that have higher levels of glucose in their blood, they tend to have higher levels of glycated hemoglobin. If a level of 6.5% or greater is reached on an A1C test, then we become concerned for diabetes. The advantages of a hemoglobin A1C is that no fasting is involved. Also, it gives a picture of how glucose control has been for the past three to four months, which is the average lifespan of the red blood cell that carries hemoglobin. The disadvantages are that this test may not be available everywhere around the world, and certain blood disorders like thalassemia and sickle cell anemia, which affect hemoglobin, may lead to false A1C levels. All the tests discussed should be completed twice a few months apart to confirm a diagnosis of diabetes, unless there are overt symptoms of diabetes. So in summary, look for symptoms of diabetes with a random glucose greater than 200 to diagnose diabetes. If symptoms are subtle, then a fasting glucose greater than 126, a two-hour post-oral glucose tolerance test of a glucose greater than 200, or a hemoglobin A1c of 6.5 or greater indicates diabetes. All tests should be repeated to confirm diabetes unless there are overt symptoms of diabetes. Well, that was a brief review of how to diagnose diabetes. Make sure to visit our podcast on iTunes and YouTube channel iMedical School for more free educational content. Check out our website, iMedical.school. That's right, not .com, but .school. Most importantly, subscribe.
This is Dr. K, and I'll see you next time.